As of now, there have been no credible reports or official announcements regarding the discovery of the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark, a sacred chest described in the Bible, is believed to have held the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments given to Moses on Mount Sinai. According to biblical accounts, the Israelites constructed the Ark under Moses' direction, following detailed divine instructions. It played a central role in their worship and was carried during their desert wanderings and into battles. For centuries, the Ark's location has been a mystery, fueling various theories and expeditions aimed at finding it. Some believe it was hidden before the Babylonian conquest of Jerusalem in the 6th century BC, while others suggest it may have been taken to Ethiopia, where it is rumored to be in a guarded church in Aksum. Despite these ideas, no concrete evidence has ever confirmed the Ark's existence or location. From a historical and archaeological viewpoint, the search for the Ark has faced numerous challenges. Many of the claims about its discovery are rooted in legend, speculation, or the misinterpretation of artifacts. Although several expeditions and research efforts have been undertaken, none have produced definitive proof of the Ark's existence. It is vital to approach such claims with caution and rely on credible archaeological findings. The discovery of the Ark would be one of the most significant finds in history, likely accompanied by extensive study, verification, and global news. If you come across a claim regarding the Ark's discovery, it's essential to verify the source and assess whether it comes from a trustworthy institution or archaeologist. Sensational reports, especially on social media and less reliable platforms, should not be accepted without proper validation from experts. The fascination with the Ark extends beyond its religious importance, it has become a cultural symbol, appearing in literature, films, and popular media, such as the iconic movie Raiders of the Lost Ark. This portrayal has heightened public interest and spurred speculative theories about the Ark's power and whereabouts. However, these fictional stories often exaggerate or alter historical and religious accounts, adding to the myths surrounding the Arkansas throughout history, various groups and individuals have claimed to know the Ark's location or even possess it. One enduring legend suggests that Menelik I, the son of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, transported the Ark to Ethiopia. Ethiopian tradition holds that the Ark is kept in the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion in Aksum, protected by a monk for life. Despite the intrigue, no independent verification has ever proven the Ark's presence there, and access to the site is strictly limited, hindering further exploration of these claims. In archaeology, the discovery of ancient artifacts involves meticulous excavation, documentation, and analysis. If the Ark were ever found, it would require careful study to substantiate the discovery, including dating, contextual analysis, and comparison with historical texts. Additionally, collaboration with historians, theologians, and experts would be crucial to ensure that interpretations align with both religious and historical narratives. One significant obstacle in proving the Ark's authenticity would be the lack of physical descriptions or inscriptions that match the biblical accounts. Most of what is known about the Ark comes from religious writings, and there is little physical evidence to support these descriptions. Moreover, given its status as a sacred object, the Ark may have been hidden or deliberately destroyed to prevent it from falling into enemy hands, further complicating modern efforts to locate it. Modern archaeology employs advanced scientific tools such as ground-penetrating radar, satellite imagery, and precise excavation techniques, all of which would be essential in a serious search for the Arkansas. However, ethical considerations must also be taken into account, as excavating religiously significant sites could affect the cultural and spiritual environment of the areas involved. In conclusion, while the Ark of the Covenant continues to capture public imagination, there is no verified evidence of its discovery. Any such claim would need thorough validation from the archaeological community and would surely become a globally discussed event. Until that day, the Ark remains one of archaeology's greatest mysteries, representing a symbol of faith, history, and the ongoing human quest to connect with the past. The search for the Ark represents more than just a pursuit for an ancient object, it reflects humanity's deeper longing to connect with ancient history, divine stories, and the mysteries of the past. This pursuit often crosses religious boundaries, drawing believers, historians, archaeologists, adventurers, and even skeptics, each motivated by the hope of uncovering a lost piece of history. The Ark's significance lies not only in its potential as a historical artifact but also in its symbolic power. To many, the Ark represents the intersection of the divine and the earthly, a physical manifestation of God's covenant with the Israelites. This symbolism has endured through the centuries, inspiring countless works of art, literature, and theology. Its influence can be seen in religious practices, cultural traditions, and modern popular culture, where it remains a potent symbol of divine mystery and the unknown. 
Historically, the Ark was described as possessing immense power, able to part rivers, bring down city walls, and strike down enemies. These descriptions have added to its legendary status and fueled the intrigue surrounding it. The biblical narrative portrays the Ark as a representation of God's presence and power, guarded closely by the Israelites and housed in the Holy of Holies, the most sacred part of the tabernacle and later the Temple of Solomon. The secrecy and sanctity surrounding the Ark only enhance the desire of those who seek it. Despite widespread interest and numerous theories, the search for the Ark has been plagued by false leads, unsupported claims, and hoaxes. Over the years, high-profile claims of the Ark's discovery have occasionally made headlines, but none have stood up to scientific investigation or produced verifiable evidence. While some have been driven by genuine belief, others have sought to exploit the public's fascination with the Ark. Technological advancements in recent decades have provided new tools for exploring ancient sites, from non-invasive scanning methods that allow researchers to examine below-ground layers without disturbing them, to more accurate dating techniques. Modern archaeology is now better equipped to take on such challenges, but even with these advances, the Ark remains elusive. If it were to be found, the discovery would have wide-reaching implications. For religious communities, it would provide a tangible link to scriptural accounts, while for historians and archaeologists, it would offer a wealth of information about the religious practices, craftsmanship, and daily life of the ancient Israelites. For the general public, the discovery would be a monumental event that would spark renewed interest in ancient history. However, it is also possible that the Ark has been lost to time, destroyed, hidden beyond reach, or deteriorated beyond recognition. The lack of physical evidence does not necessarily reduce the Ark's importance. Instead, it highlights the enduring power of myth and humanity's desire to connect with its past. Whether the Ark is hidden or eventually discovered, it remains a powerful testament to the unknown and a symbol of a sacred past that continues to resonate today. The Ark's legacy is not just about what it was or where it might be, but about what it represents, the enduring quest for knowledge, the blending of faith and history, and the profound human need to seek meaning in the remnants of our ancestors. As long as the Ark remains undiscovered, it will continue to inspire, challenge, and captivate those who wish to understand the mysteries of the past.